The Surfing Violinist presents Talent ID, Violin Vlog, Episode 22. Last month I made the claim that many of these violinists in chain store parking lots are faking it. Well, this month I finally witnessed a potential pan fiddler in person, and I have decided that a fun way of dealing with the pan fiddler phenomenon is playing a little game I'm calling Talent ID. It's like name that tune, but instead it's a game of musical detective work with the goal being to identify the actual violinist the pan fiddler is pretending to be. Now this is not to dissuade people from giving to panhandlers. I'm not questioning the validity of charity. My goal here is to help those people who are really giving only because they are trying to reward the talent. And I've talked to a few people who are giving solely for that reason. And if that is the case, I think rewarding the actual talent is an option, or maybe giving some money to the pan fiddler and some to the actual talent. Now, since this is the first time I've seen a potential pan fiddler in the wild, I needed to verify for myself if indeed this guy in particular is not making the violin sound you hear coming through the speaker. I am sure there are many exceptions and variations to the rule, and it looks like this guy can play the violin to some degree. A lot of the time, his miming was quite accurate, even with his left hand, but his attempts at performing Despacito were very obviously fake. I will show three examples before setting out to find out if there's another talent behind the music coming through the speaker. There is a possibility the guy could be bow syncing to something he already recorded or played before, in which case, make him a pop star. However, three pieces of evidence to the contrary. Talent or pan fiddler, exhibit one. One of the habits of a bona fide pan fiddler is the temptation to oversell, doing a lot of stuff with the left hand to make it seem like they're really playing hard. About midway through the song, we get this two bar phrase, and this is what the talent coming through the speaker is playing. Not much movement in the left hand, only using two fingers, the third finger, the first finger, and an open E string. So what is our performer doing? Because of my terrible filming, it's a bit difficult to determine if he switches strings in the second measure. But in the first measure, he makes a shift up the A string, reaching for that high note and coming back into the original position for a dramatic landing. Now this looks good, and one of the reasons I think this guy does play violin is that this would sound better, in my opinion. Here's what that would sound like if it were played the way he's playing it. The E string makes a shriller sound than the A string, so this way to play is more difficult, but if played in tune, it will sound great. Now we'll get to whether or not he's in tune in a second, but the real issue here is that this is not what is coming out of the speaker. Our talent is playing all those higher notes on the E string with no shift, no fancy stuff. Talent, pan fiddler, exhibit two. A lot of the pan fiddlers have totally silent electric violins. Unless they are amplified, you will hear nothing even close up. But that wasn't the case with our potential performer. Even from across the parking lot, you can hear him, and in Exhibit 2, he beats the talent to the punch on this note. And it is not only not in tune, it's not the same note. The talent plays an F sharp through the speaker. He is playing an out of tune A sharp two tones up. Now he could be doing a technique used all around the world, a slide from one note to another to add some spice to the mix. But again, is that what is coming out of the speaker? No, the very first note is a very clear, with no slide, F sharp. Talent, pan fiddler. Finally, exhibit three. We've been talking a lot about the left hand. In general, the pan fiddler does a better job with the bow arm. They just change the direction of the bow every time they hear a new note, but sometimes that doesn't work. Sometimes the talent plays slurs, two or more different notes played during the same bow. Here's what the talent through the speaker is playing during exhibit three. Slurring two notes at first, then plays all four 16th notes in one bow, sounding something like this. But what is our performer playing? He gets fancy with his right wrist, showing some actual violin technique, performing what is either a tremolo, moving the bow really fast, or some 16th triplets, all separately bowed. Impressive, but the talent is slurring during this beat, not adding another note, and not changing the bow at all. Talent, pan fiddler. Chance of pan fiddler as far as this particular song is concerned, 90%. There's still a chance this guy could have played this prior, recorded it himself, and is just being a showman adding some flourishes for effect. But if there is another talent on the other side of that speaker, 
How in the world are we going to find them? With a song like Despacito, this is pretty difficult because there are many, many violin covers of Despacito. I had one clue going in the use of the open E string, especially in the beginning, including the first full phrase I heard when I started filming with my phone. A lot of violinists will avoid the open E because again, it sounds shrill, and so we tend to play it on the A string. But our talent is playing on the E string as shown in Exhibit 4. That little zero in the sheet music above the E is the way we express an open string. So we go to YouTube, but first, how can I assume that it's a violinist from YouTube. Well, as I referenced in last month's video, Eric Stanley proved this is common. He recognized the talent behind the music in the very first video he watched, and it just so happened that one song a friend witnessed at Pier Park North was the exact same YouTube video. Not much creativity or effort going into finding off-the-beaten-path performances of popular songs by the pan fiddlers. We do a YouTube search of Despacito violin. One quick way to narrow this down is the backup track. If there's piano or other synth, that removes quite a number, including Rob Landis and Daniel Yang. Another portion of the criteria is that the talent is almost certainly using an acoustic violin that is mic'd, so we'll wait on electric violin covers like Andre Suede and Caitlin DeVille's. Carolina Prosenko is one of the first up. She plays that E on the A string, and there's more reverb, not a fit. This dude, It's A Money, uses fourth finger for the E on the A string as well. Then we have La Vid Violin's cover. It has the guitar, but does it have the open E? Yes, yes it does. Does she do the exact same thing in the entire portion of the phrase we have in Exhibit 4? Yes. Exhibit 4, talent? Let's work backward. Does she slur the figure the way the talent does in Exhibit 3? Yes. Exhibit 3, talent? Does she come in without sliding down from an out of tune A sharp as in Exhibit 2? Yes. Exhibit two, talent. Does she play the F sharp on the E string without shifts and keeps it simple? Yes. Exhibit one, talent. I think we found our talent. Just to be sure, I put the track side by side from beginning to end with our pan fiddler on the right and our talent on the left and faded from left channel to right channel so we can hear if there's ever any change between the two. You can watch the whole video on my second channel, Simple Violin, to verify for yourself. For me, this case is closed. Our talent is not the pan fiddler. It is La Vie de Violin. So if you want to show your appreciation, head on over to her YouTube channel linked in the description. And next time if you hear a potential pan fiddler playing Despacito, do me a favor and see if all of them are cheating off of La Vide's homework or if they're using a different video. Back in my world, I'm about as happy with my performances as I am with the pan fiddlers, so they can keep the tips because my chops still feel unripe. I'm thankful I have a few gigs with audiences that are more gracious than I am. This month's Seagrass Village gig got me one step closer to doing Charlie Daniels' Devil Went Down to Georgia the justice it deserves. I've never done the handoff at the end during Johnny's part between the tongue twisters and the solo riffs correctly. I'll either get the line right or flub up the fingering, or I'll get the fingering right and say something like, Grabby does your glog right, no bile low. Coordination between tongue, elbow, wrist, and fingers never quite gelling. So I'm trying to get that right for next time. I'm thankful that the seagrass folks have been so enthusiastic, even with my butchering of the song. Had another rehearsal with our quartet codenamed Quadravana that went really well working on some of the more classic kinds of string music. If you need a wedding quartet, let us know. Anthony, John, Andrew, and I joined up with Woods the Band in Vernon to perform at the Sunflower Festival, snapped some pics of Woods the Band, learned about Chris's really interesting percussion edition, which had me thinking of all kinds of fiddle and stomp ideas, very interesting. Our gig was fraught with technical difficulties, and unfortunately, I did not get the sound I wanted from recording for it, but got a cool grunge pic of John out of it. I insinuated myself into one of Anthony's set breaks at Bergen Barrel and played some solo violin 
and it was well received overall. Still not crazy about my lumbering attempts at jazz regurgitation, but again, baby steps. Eric played drums with Anthony and me at Los Antijitos, and Anthony shared his new song made along with Westenheim called Brick by Brick, available on Spotify, I believe, and if so, I'll link it in the description. Link below, I do have a fresh link for another collab between Anthony, Weston, John, Andrew, and Will Thompson with some violin from me. Check it out below. The song's called Every Weight and Anthony Peebles Original. On the micro overture front, I'm doing a cover of the 2012 South Indian film sensation, Why This Cold of R.E.D. I'm still working on it, but it's coming along. As well as a micro overture rendition of Despacito that you've been hearing as a backtrack throughout this video. Still work in progress. I'm trying to polish a couple things up on it. If you do happen to be in Panama City tonight, November 18th, just happened to see this video right when it's releasing, I am playing my first live set at Los Santajitos. I was going to play a gig with Anthony, uh, but it ended up getting frozen out. You know, thin-skinned Floridians couldn't handle the outside. Uh, so there probably wouldn't be anybody sitting on the deck to accommodate all three of us. So I'll be squoze in a little corner there, maybe in the bar area. So come to Los Santajitos if you want to hear some violin karaoke tonight and see if I can hang with the parking lot violinists. Honestly, they really pick good arrangements, so I'm, I'm not sure if the sound is gonna be quite on the level you've expected from those kind of dudes, but it is me. Until next time, keep practice, performance, and production consistent, even if your muse isn't. To see these videos early without ads, join the lineup here on YouTube. You just need a YouTube account, and for $1.99 a month, you click this little join button and sign up to get early and ad free access to four monthly vlogs the surf vlog, the masala vlog, the violin vlog, and the family vlog. Thank you very much.